Welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest news and insights from around the world. In today's video, we will be discussing the top 5 African countries currently facing debt stress to China. As China's economic influence expands globally, it's important to understand the implications and challenges faced by these African nations. So, let's dive right in. Before we delve into the specific countries, let's first understand the concept of debt stress. Debt stress in African countries has become a major concern particularly due to the loans obtained from China for infrastructure development. This reliance on Chinese loans has led to a precarious situation where some nations struggle to meet their debt obligations, causing debt stress. This condition is characterized by a country's inability to repay debts on time, which can hinder financial stability and socioeconomic progress. Consequences include limited access to capital markets, insufficient funding for healthcare and education, and constrained economic growth. This discussion focuses on the top five African countries facing this issue, emphasizing the need for effective strategies to alleviate debt and promote sustainable development. Our first country on the list is Kenya. Kenya, a dynamic nation located in East Africa, has encountered substantial challenges with debt owed to China. The country has taken on substantial loans to finance crucial infrastructure ventures, most notably the construction of the Standard Gauge Railway. However, the repayment obligations associated with these loans have placed considerable pressure on the Kenyan government's financial resources, giving rise to concerns regarding the sustainability of its debt burden. The Kenyan government's heavy borrowing from China has allowed for the implementation of vital infrastructure projects, which play a crucial role in fostering economic growth and development. The Standard Gauge Railway, for instance, has improved transportation connectivity and facilitated the movement of goods and people across the country. Nevertheless, the high debt levels have raised concerns among analysts and policymakers. The strain on Kenya's finances resulting from the repayment obligations to China has sparked discussions about the long-term consequences. It is crucial for the Kenyan government to carefully manage its debt and ensure that the borrowed funds are effectively utilized to stimulate economic growth and generate sufficient revenue to repay the loans. Additionally, efforts should be made to diversify funding sources and explore alternative financing options to mitigate the risks associated with over-reliance on a single creditor. Addressing debt sustainability concerns requires a comprehensive approach encompassing prudent fiscal management, effective debt restructuring, and a focus on sustainable economic growth. By adopting measures to enhance revenue generation, promote transparency in debt management, and foster a conducive business environment, Kenya can work towards reducing its debt burden and promoting long-term economic stability. Next up is Ethiopia a country situated in East Africa and neighboring Kenya, which has also faced significant challenges regarding a debt owed to China. The Ethiopian government has made substantial investments in infrastructure projects, including the construction of the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway and the establishment of industrial parks. These initiatives have played a crucial role in promoting economic growth and attracting foreign investment. However, the escalating debt burden has emerged as a pressing concern. The heavy borrowing from China has allowed Ethiopia to make notable advancements in infrastructure, particularly in the transportation and manufacturing sectors. The Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway has improved trade connectivity and facilitated the movement of goods, while the industrial parks have attracted foreign businesses and created employment opportunities. Nonetheless, the increasing debt levels have raised alarm bells among experts and policymakers. Ethiopia's ability to service its debt and ensure its sustainability is of paramount importance. The government must adopt prudent fiscal policies, improve revenue generation, and enhance debt management practices to alleviate the burden. Diversifying funding sources, exploring alternative financing options, and fostering transparency in debt-related transactions can help mitigate risks associated with dependency on a single creditor. Addressing the debt stress also calls for careful consideration of the long-term implications. Ethiopia should focus on maximizing the economic benefits derived from the infrastructure investments to generate sufficient revenue for debt repayment. Additionally, efforts should be made to promote domestic industries, attract private investment, and boost exports to bolster the country's overall economic resilience. 
By adopting a comprehensive approach to debt management, Ethiopia can work towards reducing its debt burden, ensuring sustainable economic growth, and safeguarding its long-term financial stability. Turning our attention to Southern Africa, Zambia is currently facing a complex and demanding debt situation. The nation has borrowed significant amounts from China to finance a range of projects such as road construction, power plants, and airport development. Unfortunately, a combination of declining commodity prices and economic mismanagement has made it increasingly challenging for Zambia to meet its debt repayment obligations. The loans acquired from China have allowed Zambia to invest in critical infrastructure projects, enhancing transportation networks, power generation capabilities, and the country's overall economic development. However, the decline in commodity prices, particularly in copper, Zambia's primary export, has had a detrimental impact on the nation's revenue and capacity to service its debt. Furthermore, mismanagement of the economy and fiscal resources has exacerbated Zambia's debt stress. Inefficiencies, corruption, and inadequate financial planning have hampered the country's ability to generate sufficient revenue and effectively manage its finances. Addressing Zambia's debt situation necessitates a multifaceted approach. The government must implement rigorous economic reforms, promote transparency and accountability, and improve fiscal management. Diversifying the economy beyond reliance on commodities, fostering investment in other sectors, and promoting sustainable growth are crucial steps toward reducing the debt burden. Additionally, engaging in constructive dialogue with China to explore debt restructuring options and seeking support from international financial institutions could provide Zambia with some relief. The country needs to focus on long-term economic stability, sound governance, and prudent debt management practices to alleviate the current debt challenges and ensure a sustainable future. Shifting our attention to Central Africa, Angola finds itself confronting significant debt stress originating from loans obtained from China. The country has heavily borrowed funds to finance crucial infrastructure ventures, including the development of railways and ports. Regrettably, a combination of declining oil prices and limited economic diversification has placed Angola in a challenging position, making it difficult for the nation to fulfill its debt obligations. Angola's borrowing from China has enabled the implementation of vital infrastructure projects, contributing to improved transportation networks and facilitating trade. The construction of railways and ports has the potential to boost economic growth and enhance Angola's connectivity within the region. However, the nation's heavy reliance on oil exports has made it vulnerable to fluctuations in global oil prices, adversely impacting its revenue and ability to service the debt. To address the debt stress, Angola needs to pursue economic diversification by investing in sectors beyond oil, such as agriculture, manufacturing, and services. By reducing dependence on oil revenues, the country can mitigate the risks associated with commodity price fluctuations and enhance its capacity to generate sustainable income. Furthermore, Angola should prioritize prudent fiscal management, transparency, and effective debt restructuring strategies. Engaging in dialogue with China and international financial institutions to negotiate more favorable terms and explore alternative financing options could alleviate the burden of debt repayment. By embracing comprehensive economic reforms, promoting diversification, and implementing sound debt management practices, Angola can work towards alleviating its debt stress and fostering long-term financial stability and economic growth. Lastly, we turn our attention to the Republic of Congo, a nation heavily dependent on oil exports, which has found itself grappling with significant debt distress. The decline in global oil prices has had a severe impact on the country's revenue, exacerbating its debt challenges. China has played a substantial role as a lender to the Republic of Congo, but the country is now facing significant difficulties in managing its debt obligations. Given the Republic of Congo's heavy reliance on oil exports, the sharp decline in oil prices has resulted in a substantial decrease in government revenue. This has severely strained the country's ability to service its debt, making it increasingly challenging to meet its repayment obligations to Chinese lenders. To address the debt distress, the Republic of Congo must adopt measures to diversify its economy and reduce its dependence on oil. By promoting investments in sectors such as agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism, the country can decrease its vulnerability to fluctuations in oil prices and enhance its revenue streams. 
Furthermore, engaging in constructive dialogue with China and other creditors to explore debt restructuring options and negotiate more favorable terms can provide some relief. The Republic of Congo should also focus on implementing sound fiscal policies, improving transparency in debt management, and enhancing governance practices to regain financial stability. The government must prioritize prudent debt management, promote economic diversification, and work towards sustainable growth. By implementing comprehensive reforms and seeking support from international financial institutions, the Republic of Congo can navigate its debt challenges and pave the way for a more resilient and prosperous future. Debt stress to China is a significant concern for several African countries, including Kenya, Ethiopia, Zambia, the Republic of Congo, and Angola. These nations are grappling with the challenges of repaying substantial loans taken for infrastructure development. They must find sustainable solutions to manage their debt burdens and ensure long-term economic stability. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the top 5 African countries facing debt stress in China. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more informative content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below.